chapter, we're going to take a step back to understand what a large use case is and why it is important to build for scale. So what is considered to be a large workflow or one that has the potential of becoming one? When a workflow has one or more of the following characteristics, there will be a need to build for scale. Without thinking about scale, there is a chance that the workflow will not be built in the most efficient way meaning that there might be some impact on the speed of the boards and or the user experience. These characteristics include a large number or an infinitely growing number of entities. These will be represented by items or columns and can run the risk of reaching limitations on a board or dashboard or negatively affecting the user experience when there is too much data. I'm not going to go into detail today about limitations on each feature on monday.com, but just to give you a ballpark figure, within boards we're talking about when there are more than 40 columns or thousands of items, including sub-items and connected items, or a combination of them all. And within dashboards, when there are more than about 20,000 items connected to a dashboard. Another characteristic includes a large number of heavy columns. This can cause a lot more work for the Monday API. For example, the formula column runs calculations in the background each time the board is loaded. If the workflow included a board which contained a large amount of formula columns, the speed at which the board loads might be impacted. A large number of connections between boards. This refers to both in terms of the number of connect board columns which are used and the number of items which are connected per column. A large number of automations and integrations. So while building workflows with automations and integrations is encouraged, we want to ensure that they are enabling the workflow to run more efficiently and not slowing it down. This can happen when they are not properly managed. Many heavy automations. An example could be where there is an automation that results in a lot of actions. For example, where a trigger causes a group of over 100 items and lots of columns to duplicate. And lastly, a large number of collaborators or users on the same process. If this is not properly managed, you may find that users within a workflow will try creating too many views or automations and integrations, and this can impact both on the performance and the user experience. So if you are not sure if your workflow is large or may be coming large, you can ask yourself the following questions before building your workflow. How many contributors will be in the workflow? How many items or requests do you have in a month, for example? How much information is maintained per project? Are there connection between the boards? And if so, how many? What are your reporting needs? What are your integration needs? And could maybe permissions help with managing users? Alongside building for scale, using the best practices, which we're going to learn about in this webinar, we recently announced the initial release of Monday DB, our new data infrastructure, which will help support an even larger scale of boards and dashboards at speed. Our development team are committed to continuously expanding the capabilities of Monday.com to enable our customers to build and manage even more complex workflows without being limited by performance constraints. So why is it important to build for scale? As mentioned in the introduction, when a workflow either has or has the potential for one or more of the characteristics listed above, it is important that we build for scale. If not, the workflow may not be built in the most efficient way, meaning that there might be boards which run more slowly or there will be a less than optimum user experience. So the two types of pitfalls we want to avoid when scaling. Performance issues, for example, the board loading much more slowly or automations running slowly, and user experience. Both new workflows and existing workflows can suffer from either, either of these. Join us in the next few chapters where we will explore our recommended best practices for how to best build out your workflows with scale in mind. <laughs>